Well, I spoke uh, to the crowd about the efforts of the FBI in a post 9-11 environment. Um, what our operational response has been through the, you know, incredible increase in resources that we've applied to counterterrorism over the last 10 years, our expansion of the Joint Terrorism Task Forces from 35 prior to 9-11 to over 104 uh, currently, and just the number of task force officers that we've grown from almost 1,000 to over 4,300 uh, in, the, in the current state. And then I spoke to, to the audience about the threat environment that we've seen uh, in a post 9-11 world, how Al-Qaeda and its affiliates uh, still present both a, a short-term and a long-term threat uh, against the homeland, and the uh, threat from homegrown violent extremists, as well as our domestic terrorism groups that still present you know, a lower but uh, ever-present threat. But what I tried to underscore was in the post 9-11 world, we face probably the most diverse threat that we've ever seen in the sense that we're threatened from Al-Qaeda and those affiliates, homegrown extremists as well as domestic groups who are all radicalized in one form or another and accelerated through uh, the internet and other media and social networking. And then I spoke to uh, the audience about the FBI's um, threat mitigation strategy leading up to the 10-year anniversary. We do not see any um, immediate uh, specific threat uh, centered on the anniversary, but nonetheless, uh, you know, in vigilance, we uh, set up a mitigation strategy nationwide, in fact, worldwide, uh, with our partners in the intelligence community, the rest of the interagency partners in the federal government, and of course, all of our state and local partners nationwide to be able to respond to any intelligence that was developed that a, a, an attack was coming. Good news is uh, we don't see anything right now, but we are nonetheless postured uh, to both respond to that threat and proactively address it.